blood over intent is like raising your hand and talk to your teacher. You understand what I'm saying? Like when we pray, let's think about it in, in like, the, like the normal things that we do. Whenever we pray, understand there's millions of prayers going out at one time. God is a dope motherfucker. There's millions of prayers going out at one time from his children and from those that are not his children that think they're his children. Probably way more people think they're his children are actually his children too. But all that's going out there, and there's only a few people going, hey. You know what I'm saying? If you notice, everybody in the Bible, God knew by their blood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The, even the Bible itself, the story is a story of a bloodline. Holy Grail, that they said that the, the thing that had uh, the, the cup that kept Jesus' blood, or it was either that or, it was the, or the cup at the Last Supper, whichever story you believe in, the Holy Grail, the actual term for it was San Griel, which was uh, holy blood. Okay. It's all about the blood. The Holy Communion was uh, take of my blood. I mean, take of this wine. It, it, it is, it is uh, my blood. You understand what I'm saying? So blood, God recognizes the blood. When Cain killed Abel, he didn't say, where's your brother? I know you killed him. He said, where's your brother? His blood cries out to me. You know, these things, and then, I mean, we got to understand that this is you. Now, blood over intent. I'm not saying that anybody needs to write the same prayers or whatever you want to write down, whatever you want to do, but understand this is you dedicating whatever you want for, for mankind, though. Let's make sure we understand this. It's not something you do for personal gain. It's whatever you want to bring into this planet for mankind, this is what you do a blood over intent for, if that makes any sense. Like, for instance, my blood over intent was made basically to... I wanted the knowledge and I wanted the wisdom of this planet. Oh, Every, you, can, you can explain what I'm explaining. I can, bro, mine is okay. published on my YouTube. Like you can, you're supposed to publish it. Show it to the world because every it's not something you do when you hide in your closet. If you do a blood over intent, you post it. Okay, so what, what was your blood over intent? Mine was I wanted the wisdom and knowledge of the ages, mainly of this planet. Pretty much the wisdom of all. And the reason why I want this is so that I can free my brothers. And when I say my brothers, understand, I mean anybody who breathes the same blood as me, I breathe the same air as me, has the same color blood as me, is my brother. I don't care if your origination or your hybridization. If you were given the same breath of life as me, and you were my brother, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying everybody was given the same breath of life either. You get what I'm saying? Right. So you still hear what I'm saying? It's not about race. It's not about species. It's not about that. You are my brother. We have we breathe that same breath. So understand, I pray that I can free all my brethren. Period. And that I can bring about heaven on earth. This is that was my blood over intent. That's it, that's all. And so uh, what's the process of going through a blood over intent? Well, what I did was I uh I wrote it out on a piece of paper and I uh I drew some symbols that resonated with me from doing years of research. I found a few symbols that I believe have significant spiritual meaning. I'm not gonna go get into these symbols as right now, that's a whole video really to get into that. But it's basically taken from the name Israel or Israel as people like to call it. But uh, I drew that and I wrote my blood over intent over it. And then I, the blood over intent was basically the letter but it's not, it means nothing until you sign that with your blood, pretty much, right? Then I pricked the finger, and I signed it with my blood. I pretty much put dots over it, whatever. I know, you know, you. It's, I'm not saying it's not a format that everybody has to follow the same way. Because if, if you ever Google it or look on the YouTube channel, everybody does their own. They, they everybody. Has, look, look, bro. Some people have numbers and grids and all type of stuff because it's about you. It's a, but it's always blood involved. You always it's always your blood. That's what identify. Blood. That's a spiritual currency, bro. That's you. Okay, now what 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 God is this is this intent going to? What God? Yes. You. When I say God, bro, understand. I believe, and I believe, bro. We are all God. To, like collectively, we're God. We're not gods because that denotes individualism, and individuality to me is an illusion. It's just a construct of this matrix that we're in. We are all one. You are my left arm. Why is my left arm so far away from my right arm? I have no idea. We're going to work that out through evolution or growing process or awakening, whatever you want to call it. 
but we are one. You know what I'm saying? And together we are God. And this blood over intense situation is something that I believe that people are waking up. Okay. And on that level, if we think that it's not important, we think the blood is just blood, then why is everything based around it? Everything, bro. Every look, we just go like everything in horror, everything in magic, everything in real shit, even science, bro. We got to get to the DNA. You get what I'm saying? Well, that's in the, blood. the worst cancer in the world fucks up your ability to recreate blood. Okay. Blood is life, bro. It is, bro. Blood is the living representations of the living waters that 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 we had before the flood. The living waters that used to miss the earth and feed everything before because it because it didn't rain because there was not a man to till the soil that's in the, that's in the genesis but that water fed everything and once the flood happened that water came that external water came it diluted the living waters we still have some we call it dew we just don't we just don't know what it, we don't understand what it really is that's why it only comes out at certain times you get what i'm saying okay. but that dew missed the ground just like it says in genesis but then it was way more powerful. And then when you ate something, you were eating life. Now because that that because of whatever happened, that that, that dilution is isn't it funny that dilution and the flow is called the diluge. Mm -hmm. I didn't make that up either. But uh, when that happened, now to consume life, we eat life. Okay. So take me so take me back through the rest. But I'm saying, but that life is the blood though. That's where that blood is. Right, I'm just making sure everybody else oh, did. Okay, I'm sorry. Take, take me back through the ritual. Who, who, who was the first person to do this? The you first know? person. And how did it start? How did it start? Let me see. The first person I saw do it was a guy named Quasi Luminous on uh, YouTube. Actually, I think he's a creator of it, to be honest with you. How, like, how, 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 and he's a white guy, by the way. How old, how old is this, 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 this ritual? How old is it? I don't even know. I don't think it's that. I think, honestly, I think, let me rephrase that. I think it's ancient, but I think the resurfacing of it is within the last couple years or so. I think the ritual itself is ancient. I think the ritual, I mean, is, is going on forever, bro. I think we just didn't understand it. I think the Bible speaks about it. I think the reason why you had to cover the door with your, the, you know, back, back in Egypt, of course, doing, you know, we had the, during the exodus, they had to cover their door with lamb's blood to protect themselves from death. I mean, that blood was important. And I think all of this, bro, blood over intent is just a title we're calling some ancient science that we use for spiritual technologies. I, um, I always recognize, just, just, you know, I grew up in the church and all Talk that. And um, I, went, I went to the, what, what's that, the um, Israel God over there sometimes. Pastor Bowie? Yeah, Pastor Bowie. From time to time. So I, was my, I was with my mom, so we was back and forth between that church and some other church. My right? father used to take me out. But time. anyway, I always noticed that the God of the Bible was into blood. And oh, my question was, why is God so blood? Why does God want blood and everything? Why does he want sacrifices, blood sacrifices? You know what I think? Why does this... What's going on with that? So, 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 it's like, and then, you know, what's going on with that? So, it's still, it, 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 you know, it's this blood over intent thing. What's, what's going on with this? Why is, think, God in, why is God in need of blood? I think what we've been told about God needs blood. Understand. But if you're doing the blood over intent, Talk you, to you're me. giving blood. Well, I think so. Yeah, we are, but are we giving the same blood? I mean, are we giving the blood to the same deity in, 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 in like that Bible? Because I'm telling you, you're God. That Bible is saying something else is God. Okay. Understand, bro, whatever is telling you that it's requiring blood, they're using your blood for a blood over intent. They're just using it on a grand scheme. They just have more blood. They have gallons and gallons and millions of gallons behind their intent. And that's all it is. That's all, bro. When you hear about 9-11 and hear about how many people died in that building, you don't understand that somebody's intent was caused because of, some, because of that amount of blood. And you don't think that somebody gained something from what they wanted from that? That was a massive blood over intent. But when you hear blood over intent, you think of it as something occultish and something we're just in the corner. No, they do it, bro. It's just now it's time for you to do it, bro. Free yourself with it. They've been doing it for ages. You think Pearl Harbor was an accident? Do you realize Pearl Harbor was no accident? I'm not saying that we did it, but there was somebody's blood over intent. So you saying that you can use somebody else's blood? 
What and you think Quasi Luminous doing right now? Quasi Luminous, every time he draws a person for blood over intent, when they add blood, they're not just doing their blood over intent, which they are. They're also adding their blood to his intent. When he says he has gallons of blood behind him, that's not just talking about his own. He's talking about everybody who words theirs blood over intent the same. That's why I made sure I was very specific in how I worded mine because mine is still, it's not about going to Antarctica. Mine, I don't care about, I mean, it, I'm not saying that he's wrong about all that stuff. I'm just saying that I don't care about that because in my mind, bro, I am here now. So my blood over intent was about knowledge and my blood over intent was about being able to free my people's minds. I don't think we should free ourselves from, try to free all of us from civilization and crumble because that will hurt more people. I don't want to, I don't think that we, to win, someone else has to lose. But I think that the best way we can get in this world is to become self-sustainable. Self where you don't need the government. And I tell you what, when you don't, the less you need the government, the better the government works for you. I know that sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but if you live in an area where the mass of the people don't require food stamps, not trying to judge, just saying, don't, are not requiring EBT and LINK and all that from the government, and not asking the government to build their roads because they put their money in a pot and build their own fucking roads, do you know what? They have less enforcement. They ain't got no cameras and they shit, and, and, when, and when the city put up cameras, they can say, take that shit down. It's their property. It's their property. Because they're self-sustainable. I'm not saying to separate, because it helps the government if you become self-sustainable. Because now that money that they're giving you can go to actually doing some shit. You know, people use Link and Public Aid like a goal. Now, damn yeah, I know it's like I'm getting off the topic, but I'm not. This all has a meaning to this. People use Link and Public Aid or whatever like it's a goal, like it's a normal life. That's just, that's temporary to help you, right? That's all it's supposed to be. Just like this. It's temporary to help you, bro. That's all it's for, is to help you. Understand, these stories that I put in here, are all, they all come from Egypt. But they're all given to you as a guiding key for the layman who doesn't understand that he's God. Of course, they put their twist in it over years to control you and control the masses. But the truth is, if you, if you try to voyage yourself from all the bullshit, you know, Jesus, everything else, I'm not trying to judge, just saying. But if you take that away, and you look at it, bro, it's a lot of tools in here for yourself. And I'm not saying that you should run to that, but understand if you have that around you, use those tools. And those tools, one of the, one of the major tools throughout the whole story is blood over intent. Every, it's all about it. Now, we can sit here and think about it, but understand, but a blood over intent is you removing yourself from spiritual link and standing on your own ground. And I guarantee the universe bends to your will when you're standing on your own. When you stand, I'm not saying standing on your own is separating from the collective. I'm saying once you realize that you don't have to go, hey, can you help me? Do you realize every time you pray, the outcome more than likely that happened was going to happen regardless? Right. Gee, somebody said this. Somebody said, oh my God, by the grace of God, I got this job. Bitch, you got a PhD. You filled out, yo, you have an awesome resume. You have experience. Never been to jail. You're black, which is important at this company. But you got the job by the grace of God. I'm going to agree with you because you are God. You got the job by the grace of you. <laughs> but, if you can't, but if you can't even weed that, you can't separate from that, you can't even understand what blood over intent is. Blood over intent frees your mind. It frees your spirit from somebody else's control. The Pope has your soul right now. Believe it or not, when you look at a birth certificate, what's on there? What do you mean? What's on, What's on it? The soles of your feet. Now, I think we're going to look at it and say it's spelled wrong, but when you say it, look, the Bible says in the beginning there was a word, and the word was God, and the word was God. It does not say the letters. It says the word. Says the word. So when you hear soul, the right. vibration does not change. The sound did not change. The soles of your baby's feet, of your feet, are owned by the Vatican, are registered in the U.S., but owned by the Vatican. So understand, that blood over intent is already there. It's done. Your soul is already being uh, controlled, auctioned off, sold, traded, bro. Blood over intent is you grabbing your shit back because you didn't agree to that. So, so, so if you're saying that I'm God, you God, then can I change the rule? Can you change the rule? What do you mean when I say change the rule? When you say change the rule. Do I have to, do I have to bleed? Do you have to bleed? To make my blood over intent? 
do I have do it have to be that? If it if if you want it to be a blood over intent, you got to you got to. I mean, otherwise it's just an intent. And I'm not saying your intent is weak. I'm not saying your intent isn't enough. Okay, bro. I'm not saying any of this is even necessary. Okay. Understand from my blood over intent, I learned that I never had to do a blood over intent. It taught me, but not it, but the process and growing and researching and learning. I'm not gonna lie to you. Out of years of learning, the research I did that, and from sun gazing and being involved with this, I'm not gonna lie. It started to reorganize. Okay. And I saw it differently. So the knowledge I had didn't change. My eyes that saw it change, and that change let me realize that I've always been God. How long? Forever. When like like you know when did I start being God? Right now. <laughs> what was I yesterday? I ain't never experienced yesterday. I've always been today. So you get what I'm saying? We just gotta open our eyes and understand that. And the thing is, this was nothing else but the same thing as that Bible. Somebody, another person's tool to channel your intent and your will to help you understand. Jesus tried to teach you another way when he told you that uh if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can tell a tree to uproot itself and it will, all that type of stuff. You can move mountains. Understand, that's the same thing. Your intent, your will. Right. And these are all tools of challenging, of challenging, channeling that. But really, you are all that's important. <coughs> if you come to understand that you are here now and you embrace that, and you, I know it sounds simple, but it's really huge and monumental. When you really embrace that, then you understand that you are all you ever need. I'm not saying the blood over intent was negative. I think it, it, it greatly impacted my life, and I'm glad that I did it because some people sometimes eyes need to be open, mm -hmm. and we got. And it also helped me get get past this superstitious thing. I was so superstitious, bro. I promise you, I wouldn't, bro. I believed in voodoo. I'm not saying nothing is not real. I'm just saying I was afraid of everything, bro. But once I did this, I learned something that my soul is mine. And I don't give a fuck how strong any force outside of me, whether it be good, bad, whatever you want to call that, high frequency, low frequency, pleasant, unpleasant, whatever you want to title it, a spirit, demon, whatever, you are not more powerful than me. You thought you were, and I thought you were, and that's what gave you power. But I am God. In the same moment that you realize that you are God, and it's so, in a moment that we all realize, not just black people, even though I would prefer that we all realize it a little sooner, we need a one up. It's time we got a head start. But once we woke up and realized that we are God, you imagine the power to change the world. Right. When you say when you say that you used to be superstitious, I was superstitious. Fuck, like most black people, bro. But but wait a minute now. When you, when you when you consider that, well, okay, when you think about the ancient stories of Europeans. They was into this type of magic type of stuff. They was they was doing the the the, the blood drinking blood yeah. type of stuff. They was doing all the witchcraft. Trying to consume. They were just blind blood over. And and well well now nah, they they in, they in control of the world, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so can you argue with results, right? I can't argue with results. So I'm not talking they about this. They doing magic. Like seriously, if they like they believed in these gods. Yeah. They believed in all of this shit, and it worked for them. Like almost, almost to the point to where, like even now, when they pray for Trump, yeah, I'm not, bro, I'm not arguing. And it, that it, works. it, work, it, it works, works for them. And it works for them. It works right? perfectly. You even prayer, I mean? even prayer does work. You know why prayer works? So the only reason why prayer works is because you channeled your will. But I'm saying, so they when they got these results, is it something to this shit? Is it something to this? It is, bro. Shit? It is, bro. It's not superstitious. See, that's not superstitious. That's spiritual science. We gotta understand the difference. Step on a crack and break your mama's back is superstition. That's what I mean when I'm talking about superstition. When I say demons and spirits, I believe in all that. I believe in other dimensions. I believe that other multidimensional beings. I believe in other frequency energies and spirits. But at the same time, I believe that none of that has any effect on us unless you allow it to. I'm not saying that fear is what it is, but fear is what it is. Because at the same time, because I'm not saying being afraid of something or not noticing as a, a very real danger somewhere is bad. Noticing that as a danger is good. That's how you stay alive. Mm -hmm. But... To have fear is to not know that you are God. Right. Even if you fear death, because death is a real thing. Death is very real. Right. But if you are God, then even this physical death is a transition. So why fear it? It's a natural transition that's going to happen regardless of who you are.
So why fear? And in any fashion? Do you think people are uh, afraid of death or how they gonna die? I think people are afraid of all of it. Both. It's more of the unknown than anything else. More of the unknown. And then I believe that Christianity puts so much fear in you of heaven or hell that now you got so much on you, you afraid of that. You afraid of every decision you never made. When some, when real life, most of your decisions were just that decisions. I think when I was a shorty and, and I was and I was in the streets and all that, I think my, I was more worried about how I was gonna die. Versus being afraid to die. You're right, I was never afraid to die. I didn't even care about how though, bro. I just didn't want to survive paralyzed <laughs> or be handicapped. That's all I was afraid of. I was so afraid they broke. You know, like, I'm not saying like, like to make fun. Bro, I used to look at people, bro, that used to come out in their wheelchairs, bro, still had rocked off to the left with a bang on. And at first, I used to talk shit in my mind. I wouldn't say it out loud. Never you get your ass beat for that. But in my mind, I'd be like, Shit pathetic, this motherfucker is in his wheelchair now for, for a gang. Mm -hmm. But then as I look at it, as I got older, <coughs> I look at that and say, it's not that he got shot for this gang. It's he got shot for a set of beliefs that he had. Mm -hmm. And he still holds those beliefs past this injury, past this unfortunate thing that happened to him or whatever unfortunate things he's caused other people. He believes in his principles, whatever they are, he believes in those. And, and it worked like that on every level. Most of us will not die for our principles, bro. Right now, we can say fuck anybody in the world. We can say we'll die for mine. I won't let you touch my woman. But when a police officer is treating her rough, we're going to, baby, calm down. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know what? It worked like that with the, when we talk about soldiers. True. They get, they get shot, paralyzed, come home, still be your damn patriots. And, and, and then the VA no treat them right. No difference. So it's no difference. But the block treats you better than the VA. Exactly. At, at least the bro say. At least the bro blow more with you. Holler at you, man. At least you. At least, bro. At least, at least can't nobody say shit to you. Tell, bro, tell me if I'm lying. If you in a club and one of the. I don't care if you into it with the BDs right now, whatever. One of the BDs come in that motherfucking wheelchair. Bet you ain't gonna say nothing to him. Nah, everybody gonna respect him. Everybody gonna respect that man. What up, bro? Even if it was one of your guys, what's up, bro? My bad, Joe. Oh, you ain't gonna say my bad because you, know, you like you don't want no parts of that. What's up with it, Joe? You gonna speak? Right. You might even buy the nigga a drink and move on. <laughs> you bump it to the nigga, you gonna apologize? Cause that's a motherfucker who got put in that position for some principles that he felt and he's still in that shit. G, you fear that, and we fear that in people. We we pay attention. I mean, I'm not saying fear like I'm a man, I'm a pussy. I'm saying like you don't want to fuck with people like that that you know that's gonna take that for their principles, and we don't have enough of that. I'm not saying we should be out here violently fighting, but I'm saying that you could take a bullet for your principle, but, but you can't take a was, study. You can't take a study session. Imagine though if that was like directed though in, in, in the right way though. Right, and, and like I'm saying, you you could take a bullet for your for your for your principles, but you can't take a long study set like a long study course. Right. You can't take an online course or something. You can't learn how to better yourself. I'm not saying go to school and become an assistant. I'm saying to learn the avenue that you want to pursue and pursue that and grow in that. That takes just as much balls. That takes just as much heart, if not more. Because more times you got to deal with the word no. When you got a gun, you don't got to deal with the word no a whole lot. <laughs> you say the gun, it will change everything. You get what I'm saying? So we gotta look at different levels of strength. They both strong as fuck, but one is focused and the other is not. One has a set of his 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 beliefs are strong and it's a strong structure, but where he sits in this world isn't. Okay. He that's not focused, and that's why the unfortunate happens. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But you know, and so you still got that mindset though, and like you said, it, 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 we need more people who got them principles that they willing to die for. Absolutely. Uh, have some integrity for, you know what I mean? And we, we definitely ain't got none of that, because they, they, you know, I, I was talking to somebody about the term, for each, for each their own. <coughs> and I was saying, how, man, I, I was saying how, um, it's a, um, it sounds really good, and it really is a really good idea to mind your own business. You know what I mean? But, um, but if we are one, you are talking about business. community, when you talk about community, that to each his own is a cancer to that. You know what I mean? Because you, you, you can't, it, it just really is. It's a cancer to the, to the community. You can't say to each their own. Hell, you gotta be, you gotta show up for your neighbor. You know what I mean? For your brother or whatever. You, know? you gotta know when to weigh in. 
You gotta know when it takes judgment too. You yeah, gotta know yeah, when to win. You gotta have discernment. You gotta have discernment. discernment. You gotta have discernment. You got to. But most people don't. Most people don't. That's what Most people, if they in your shit, they in your shit. Or they out your shit. Or they out your shit. And for the most part, when they hear that to each their own, right. they out your shit. Exactly. They don't want to deal with nothing. They, they what they do? They always go, all right. They, what they say, like, all right, brother, you got it. They don't want to help no way. Right. You know that's, that's, that's real. That's, that's real. Excuse. So like, they get out and, 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 I, and black folk need to stop talking like that. We need to step in if you need to step in. If you especially, you got to be at the start, you got to have the discernment. You know, but the thing is, here's the thing. Black people, let's be real. I'm, I'm not judging all black people, but for the ones I've met, let's put it that way. The majority of them, A, don't step in because they feel like, hey, motherfucker ain't going to help me. That's one. But that's horrible. True. I'm not, I'm not saying this. I'm not validating it. I'm saying that, and then two, you feel like you gon' you feel like when you step into somebody's shit, bro. A lot of times I know this motherfuckers go at the motherfucker that is trying to help. That's horrible. That's horrible. I'm not. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the next is that one that feel like it's not his responsibility at all. I hate that when they say that's another man, bro. He a man, bro. What does that mean? He a man, bro. He don't need no help. That's some bullshit. He need more help than anybody. He a, man. he a man. He a man, bro. <laughs> we all need help, bro. We all need help, bro. We all need help, bro. Yeah. I mean, and then you got another thing, and then the last one, the one I dislike the most is the one that I'm not getting nothing out of. It. Yeah. What I get for help? That's horrible, man. And that's and that's and that's that's the nature of the community, and that's why it's like it is. Because we on that, we on that's where we at with it, and you know what I mean. I don't know how healthy that is, you know. Healthy yeah. shit. It's a sickness, bro. It's a virus. It's a virus. It's not something that we learn from our own people, and I'm not blaming white people for everything, but I'm saying that <laughs> I'm blaming them from everything. It's just a different level, though. It's just not. I'm not saying this was directly. This is not something I believe was intentional. Mm -hmm. I believe that when you live in an oppressive state. <clears throat> And, and and like when I, and like when I say state, I mean state of being. Mm -hmm. When you live in that state of being, bro, and it's to the point to where it's, if he just speak up for himself, he getting killed. What's gonna happen if I speak up for him too? And that goes to where you start teaching people to keep their mouth shut. Yeah. The kids and, to step and, back. And, and I noticed that, and, and it definitely stuck with us, and still because you know other people will say to each their own, but when they dealing with their community. They not, it's not, they man, they all in. Exactly. They all, they all in. But you're you know afraid I mean? though. You're and, afraid. And, and, and you know what, and, and, and when you deal with, even even if you deal with the vote, right? With the white women voting for Trump, right? And how they supposed to be in all of this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When it came to that real shit, they all in. Yeah, they are. They all in, man. Fuck that. They are. <laughs> Trump to man. And I ain't mad at that. You know what I mean? I, I, mean, I don't bro. hate Trump. But, but I don't hate Trump. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, look. That's what it is, though. They was all in when they was expected to be on Hillary's team. Yeah. You know what I mean, just on the fact that they, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't with that. So that's how it is. And and, and all groups do that, though. They, they, they. And we just not really like that. And that's, you know. I don't, bro, I don't think it's still. We, we taking it as a group thing, bro, and we making it a collective problem, bro, but it's the individuality that is the issue. Yeah, the individual need to think better. The individual, well, I'm saying we and need to understand. On the group. Well, we need, well, that, but what I mean by individuality is that we need to under, all understand that we're not one. I mean, that, that, I'm sorry, that we're not just one separate island. We are all one. So, meaning that, bro, if I'm at KFC's, and I see this person giving this person a hard time. It doesn't matter if this is a black employee giving a black customer a hard time. We see she filed. But we gonna sit here and let this lady or whatever it is sit here and get aggravated and aggravated mm -hmm. until it blow up. And nobody spoke up for her. I, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't do that shit. I promise you, I'll be right there like, uh, excuse me, she's a customer, man. If you have questions that you would like to ask the streets, contact us at askthestreetsmedia at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.